I'm going to show you how to lay stepping stones. Stepping stones are a good design statement. They're a good way of keeping people on the path and off your lawn from wearing it out. And it's a good way of directing people around the property. For this project, we're going to need stepping stones, wheelbarrow, cement, bricky sand, a level, safety gear, measuring equipment, string line, post to hold the string line in, mallet, spade, hammer, and spray paint. All right, I'm going to get this gear out of the way so we can get started. Dry laying is when you place the stones on the ground without actually fixing them to the surface. This is to determine how far apart each stone should be. An easy way to determine the distance is to place them at a comfortable stride's length. As this is a formal garden, we're trying to keep it as straight as possible. So to do this, we're going to use a string line. To get a neat appearance for this path, we're going to measure an equal amount of distance on either side of the paver. Once I've got this measurement, I can run my string line. I'm going to put another post the same distance off the wall down the other end to run the string between one to the other. Now I've got my two posts in, I can roll the line out between them. Now we have our string line in, we want to make sure we push all the pavers right up against it, just so we know they're symmetrical. Now we have the pavers where we want them, you want to mark out the corners so you know where to dig once you lift the paver up. I'm just going to spray around these tiles now. Whilst doing this, you want to ensure that you don't spray the top of the tile. Now I can remove my stepping stones and start digging. When digging out for the stones, you want to ensure that you dig out the depth of the stone and also a little bit extra for the mortar. Now that the holes have been dug, we want to mix up our mortar. To do this, we want to ensure you use safety equipment such as goggles, mask and gloves. The ratio is 5 parts sand to 1 part cement to make the mortar. The consistency you want to get the mortar at is so when you have about this much on your shovel, it sticks upside down. We're going to fill the holes with the mortar now. To do so, we're going to ensure that there's just enough so the paver sits level with the ground. Now that the paver's in, you want to make sure it's level and up to the string line. To do so, you can use a level and a mallet. You want to make sure you check the levels in both directions. We're now going to repeat the process with all the other stepping stones. Now that the stones are in, we're going to backfill them. This involves spreading the stones that we first removed back around the outsides, like this. You'll now need to wait about 24 hours to let them dry before you can walk on them, just to be on the safe side. Don't they look fabulous? That's how you lay stepping stones. Music